Hello, and welcome back to Living Passionately with Pat Brown. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for liking and sharing these videos. It is greatly appreciated. My goal is always to share information with you that is inspiring, motivating, and encourages you. And if not you, someone that you know, and hopefully you are sharing these videos with your loved ones. This week, I have the pleasure of speaking to you on the importance of living a life of gratitude. It is so important to have a gratitude practice. And I am telling you this from my own personal experience that when I really started an intense, intentional focus on living a life of gratitude, that it really shifted my mindset. And I really want to share this with you, my viewers, and hope that you can find this information valuable and you can share it with others. Living a life of gratitude, uh, having a gratitude practice on a daily basis can really shift your outlook on life. Do you know that living a life of gratitude can improve your immune system? Living a life of gratitude can improve your health. Living a life of gratitude can reduce your blood pressure. Living a life of gratitude allows you to look at your challenges in a different manner. Challenges will come our way, but I promise you that when you're living a life of gratitude, you are going to have a positive outlook on when things happen. You are going to look forward and believe that there is a lesson for you to learn. You are going to realize that we all in life we have our own quote unquote cross to carry. And whatever situation may come your way, when you live a life of gratitude, instead of being in despair, you are going to look to whatever it is to overcome the situation, whatever you have to do. You are going to find a way to overcome your challenges. Do you know that living a life of gratitude improves your productivity, it improves your relationships with people, it improves your happiness level. And boy, don't we all want to be happy? That is our goal, to be happy on a daily basis. So imagine if you're having a gratitude practice on a daily basis, the way that you communicate with others, whether it might be in your workplace, on a personal level, or even with your children and spouses, it will be totally different, I assure you. I have been practicing gratitude and I write in my journal. I try to do it every day. There are times that I forget to journal. There are times that I have woken up in the night, like two in the morning, and thought to myself, oh my goodness, I didn't write in my journal. And I was stopped because there is always something to be grateful for. And because I've been practicing this on a daily basis to find at least three things that I am grateful for and write about it, it has really shifted my mind and the way that I respond to situations. So I want to encourage you to really try to practice gratitude. So as you reflect on this past year as we're coming down to the end of the year, I want to challenge you to really make a note of the wonderful things that have happened to you this year. Make a list of your experiences, good or bad, and I can assure you that the good would outweigh the negative things that you may, or challenges that you may have had to deal with this year. You know, as we approach the holidays, a lot of people worry or are concerned. Some may not have loved ones at the table this year. You know, when we were celebrating Thanksgiving at my brother and sister-in-law, my sister-in-law always creates a wonderful spread of food. And I, I'm grateful for that because she does enjoy cooking and it's always a spread. And my sister-in-law is a nurse and she was called in to work because someone called out that day. And 
she fortunately she only had to work four hours and of course she preferred to spend time with the family but she went on to work um, to take care of her patients and her duty as a nurse and my sister-in-law is one of those people one of those nurses that really enjoys nursing and wanted to be a nurse from the heart and she practices nursing from the heart and the sister-in-law went to work and came home with a card from a patient's daughter thanking her for taking care of her mom it was a bit of a challenge and another nurse did not respond very kindly to her mom but she noticed that my sister-in-law made an extra effort to speak with her mom in a respectful manner calm her down and her mom listened to my sister-in-law and follow whatever protocols or procedure that they were trying to um, make her aware of but the patient's daughter bought my sister-in-law a card and it's saying how grateful she was and I thought it was really um, awesome that someone would take the time to go out and thank someone for doing their job because yes that is her job as a nurse but that someone recognized that you made an extra effort to take care of a sick patient and really appreciated you and wanted to express their gratitude with a card, with a handwritten note on the inside. I thought it was really awesome. So my sister-in-law came back from work after her four hours smiling and I you know, was able to share that with us. So I'm telling you, whatever the situation that you might be going through, just take some time to reflect and then take some time to start practicing gratitude. The little gifts that you are offered on a daily basis or a card or a thank you or appreciation from someone. Just reflect on those times and think about having that gratitude mindset and a gratitude practice. I want to give you a challenge today between now and Christmas, I'm going to ask you to write a card or send a card to five people in your life that you have not or that you do not communicate with on a regular basis, but they have made an impact on your life, a positive impact. And send a card thanking them for that positive experience. Let them know that you are expressing your gratitude for their kindness. If you're unable to send a card, send an email or make that phone call, better yet, and express your gratitude. Recently, I connected with a teacher that I had when I was 11 or 12 years old. And this lady made such a positive impact on my life. And from time to time, I've thought of her and she was my first introduction to business classes and i wanted to do well because of the time she took with us and the encouragement that she gave me as that 12 11 year old insecure kid and encouraged me to do my best and recently i connected with her and i was so excited just to say thank you thank you for having that positive impact on my life at 11 or 12 years old I have not forgotten and I was so excited to speak with her and she did remember me and she also shared with me how many students she have heard from over the years thanking her for having a positive impact on her life on their lives and encouraging them to do their best and many of them have gone on to excel in life because of her encouragement so I give it, I, I'm giving you that challenge to reach out to someone and thank them. Express your gratitude and you'll see how good it makes you feel and how good it also makes them feel. And then practice living in gratitude. Get a gratitude journal. And I ask you to journal for the next 30 days on gratitude. Find three things that you're grateful for and write about it and it will really change your outlook on life. It will make you a better person. And sometimes we all need someone to encourage and motivate us on a daily basis, or for maybe a period of time, not every day. And I'm saying to you today, 
to try one more time whatever it is that you may have wanted to give up on not on yourself don't give up on yourself find some gratitude for just having the knowledge and the ability and the tenacity to want to try something new or to keep going and be kind to yourself give yourself some grace find a safe space to share about what you might be going through with someone and of course thank them for allowing you to do that because like i said we all have our challenges in life but i want you to be to have a positive outlook that whatever it is as long as you place yourself in that mindset of gratitude it's going to change your outlook on life i believe in you i know you can do this and i look forward to hearing those great stories. Feel sure to comment on this video about something or someone that you are grateful for, someone that impacted your life in a positive way that you would reach out to to say thank you and express your gratitude. Until next week, remember to like, share, and subscribe to this channel.